Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess and today I am going to attempt to do a DIY outdoors. It's beautiful out and I just really wanted to um, do something outdoors for, for the day. This DIY is a Pinterest inspired DIY. I seen these really cute white canisters and sort of like chalk based labels that people were putting on them and the white and black contrast was really really cute. However, I would not pay the price for those particular labels. My thought is paint and do your own. So today I'm going to show you how I'm recreating that same idea using, ta-da, Pringles potato chip can. Sorry about, sorry about that, guys. So before we attempt any painting, we're going to make sure that the insides of the chip cans are cleaned up. Now, we're not wetting them or anything, just simply wiping some excess uh, chip residue out. And I'm just using paper towels and a little bit, a little bit of bleach cleaner that I had handy. And I'm just wiping, wiping them out. And wiping the lid down really quick too. And just on to the next can. Depending on how many cans you have, this really shouldn't take too long. Just want to make sure that the insides are clean for when you put your pasta or beans, whatever it is you may be um, using these canisters for. All right, so my canisters are all wiped out, they're dry, and now on to paint. I'm going to be using a white chalk paint. Link is included down below that I did order from Amazon. And I'm going to most likely apply two coats. I don't know, we'll have to see here in a moment how it, how it covers, um, but most likely it seems for most DIYs, two coats seems to be the standard for um, painting. And if you do hear any odd background noises, I do apologize, guys. I do live by a lawn care business. You may hear um, machinery at some point, or you may hear people talking, um, some types of loud noises. So some of their machinery parks over here from me, and then they have a little, um, like a garage over here. So I do apologize is the chalk bean that I'm going to be using. As I said, this is from the UK. This is called Warm White Cosmic Shimmer Matte Chalk Paint. And I'm just going to put some in my little palette here. And I'm going to start. So we're going to see how how well this covers but I'm fairly certain it's going to need to cover yeah guys I'm gonna show you I am NOT really liking even with two coats of chalk paint I'm just not thinking that it's covering as good as I thought it would so I'm going to switch my idea up and I am going to go with my acrylic white paint because I know that will cover it. So I don't know uh, why, but I checked my white paint. don't know if I'm going to actually have enough to do all of my cans. So I figured, let me try something a little bit different than what I was originally going to do. So I'm going to go back to my blue chalkboard craft paint from Dollar General. I've used this in previous DIYs. And I'm just going to paint over the cans with 
the blue. Well, everyone, I am back indoors. It just got too windy for me to continue painting outside. I tried. So I did finish up my Pringles cans with two coats of my blue chalk paint. And now we're going to wrap this DIY up because I'm going to show you how to recreate what i seen on Pinterest, freehand and using stencils. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this, um, some of them freehand and somewhat stencils. Now I'm going to be using Dollar General black chalkboard paint to go over um, lettering and stencils but I'm just basically going to use use my my pen and I'm going to just write cursive like so and now I'm going to go over it and just like so. This should look really nice using chalk or uh, paint with the lettering as well. I'm really thinking the black is going to stand out. I am a little disappointed with the white that I did use. I don't know if it was an issue with the, the paint, maybe just not being quite thick enough. I really... I don't know what to say about that. I just know that it wasn't, um, it wasn't quite coming the way I wanted it to, so, yeah, it, um, did disappoint me. I had to tweak this DIY, but um, glad I had the blue. So, while this is drying, as I said, it is freehand. I'm going to be doing some lettering using stencils that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to spell out A C A R O macaroni. So I'm just going to trace the letters on here. And this is just an example of what it looks like with stencils. 
Either way, I think it's cute. I'm thinking longer words, for example, spaghetti would probably look better just written cursive and shorter things, for example, macaroni, um, say, for example, you were storing navy beans. Using stencils would probably look a lot neater um, doing that. So this is what some of my cans look like. Um, as I said, a mix of using stencils and just doing it freehand. And I only use one coat of black chalkboard paint doing the letters because it really stands out with one coat i don't think two is necessary i have one more step guys you knew it was coming yes i am going to add um some sunflowers on just scatter like two on each canister this is same sunflowers from my previous always sunny diy i just scaled them down a little bit made them smaller so i'm just going to attach like two sunflowers on each container attach them with mod podge and let them dry for a few moments and then i'll be ready to seal up with some matte sealer Think they're looking so cute so cute so now time to seal them up with some matte sealer here we go um this is by dunk so gonna demonstrate how this looks when everything is dry as i said this is a matte finish doesn't have the gloss that the gloss Mod Podge does. I'm going for a little bit different look in um, a couple of different DIYs I'll be doing. So here is spaghetti. Okay. Well, no problem. What is really nice about using these um, Pringle cans, obviously, is the ability to see inside what is in there. And that is the finished prod product. I think they look super cute with added sunflowers on really really gives them a pop of color and still keeps the sunflower theme going well guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already hit my subscribe button thank you so so much for watching I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.